Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a Big Sur bootable USB stick. This is useful for users of Mac hardware or someone that's running a Hackintosh PC. We're gonna use an application called TransMac and we're gonna be running this application on a Windows 10 PC. So let's get started. So we're gonna begin on our desktop and what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our Google Chrome browser and acutesystems.com. This is the official URL for the TransMac software. So you wanna head over to this website and then you'll see TransMac here listed. It's a very old school website. It's kind of cool, um, uh, very retro look. Anyways, this software works and that's why we're here. So we're gonna download the zip file and you can see right here, it says TM setup.zip. This is the one we wanna download. It's a very small file, it's two megs. And what we'll do is we'll download it and install it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jump to the part where I already have it extracted into the folder. Here it is. There's a setup file and then we're gonna double click on it and install it. Okay, so we'll click on next here. And we have to accept the agreement, click on next. And we're gonna be using all the default settings. So we'll leave it there and then next again. And this is a trial program that we're installing right now for 15 days. We can leave it associated with DMG, uh, DMG files. If you'd like, that's up to you. Click on install and then we can go ahead and install it. Once it's completed, it's gonna wanna show you the readme text and run the TransMag application. It's not running as administrator. I'm doing this on purpose so you can just see what happens when you're not running it as admin. There's a readme file and we can close that. And then here's the trial. So you just have to wait five seconds. Uh, for this to clear and then it'll load up the program. Now we can click on run and it brings you automatically to the website, it just explains the software. Uh, if you find this useful, you can go ahead and purchase it. It's a pretty powerful application and it works. It works every single time, that's why I like it. So here we are at the main screen and what we're gonna try to do is format it. And because we ran it as a user, it won't allow us to it's gonna ask us to run as administrator. So we'll just click on format disk for Mac. And here's a prompt, it's gonna to wanna to restart it. And if you say yes to this prompt, it's gonna automatically restart it as admin. Just say yes to the prompt here, and it's gonna reload it. Just gotta wait for this little prompt to come up again for us to click on the run button. Okay, we click on run, and there we go. So we have it up and running. And now we can format the disk as a Mac. And then you say yes if you wanna continue and it's gonna overwrite anything on the drive. So if you have anything on your USB drive that's plugged into your computer, make sure you have it backed up because it's all gonna get wiped out. This is a 32 gig drive. You have to give it a name. So I'm gonna call it Big Sur because that's the operating system that I'm gonna install on. And it's gonna format this USB drive into a format that can be readable for Macs only. So once we complete this process, Windows will not be able to read it. So at the prompt here, we can say yes, and it's gonna to continue to format it. Because I'm using a 32 gig drive, this is actually gonna take a bit of time. And what I'll do is I'll skip to the end of the formatting. Okay, that actually didn't take too long. Format complete, it took about three or four minutes. It's done, I can click okay. And now what we can do is we can find our image file that we want. I have it in my documents folder. If you haven't already downloaded a DMG file for the operating system that you want, in this case, we're using Big Sur. You can find it on our website and I'll also put a link in the description below. So we're gonna right click on this and we're gonna say restore with disk image. So we're gonna say yes to this prompt and it's gonna want you to find the disk image. So you get the three dots on the right hand side here, you're gonna click on it. And I have my Big Sur image file right here in my downloads folder. Again, you can download this off our website, link will be in the description. So we'll click on open and now it's ready to load it so we can click on OK. It just gives you a warning. Again, anything on your USB drive will be completely erased and starting from scratch as it now puts on the DMG file on your USB. So it's gonna extract everything that you need to make it bootable. It's gonna write all the files that are required. So this process does take a bit of time, so I'll skip forward to the end. So now we're back at the end. We can see that the restore has been completed and we get a little prompt in the right hand corner about the removable drive. This is because Windows can no longer read the drive. It's now written for Mac systems. I and mean, what I can do is I can just go down to my file explorer and I can show you what we have here. And Microsoft is now asking us to remove the USB because it's not, or format it because it cannot be read. So the only option right now in Windows is to format it. So we have to pop out the drive and now the process is complete. So now this USB is bootable for macOS Big Sur. 
you can plug it into a Mac computer, or if you have a Hackintosh system that you want to run it on, you can use it there as well. And that's it. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.